brighter. All right, kids, let's get going. So let's start with some shoulder rolls uh, and reverse it. Yeah, we'll text, I don't know if that was Karen. Um, yeah, I think it's Karen texting that she'd like to hear what Lori has to say. Let's do some gator openings <laughs> in honor. All right. Give me three, two, and one. Just turn your torso and kind of be like a little kid. Speaking of little kids, Adam starts school today. All right, four more. Three, two, and one. Roll your shoulders back and around. In a lunge. Eight more, just like that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it to the center. Drop your hips. Round your spine. Extend it. Round it up. Extend it. Round it up. Hold it. Pull the belly up and in. Drop your right shoulder forward. Extend the spine again. Drop your left shoulder forward. Drop your right shoulder forward. Left shoulder. Come back to center. Drop your hands to the floor. Drop your seat down and pulse. Look forward. Drop your hips behind your heels. You've got four more. Three. Now stay low and just go side to side here. Just a little glide through your side to side stretches or lunges. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five, four more, three, two last times, one more, come to center, walk your feet a little closer, take both hands over to the right leg, take the right arm up and open up, twist, come back down to the center, walk over to the left side, both hands hold on, right arm stays down, left arm comes up. And then release it down. Just come back through the center. Dangle, let your head come down. Tuck your chin into your chest. Walk your feet a little closer. And roll yourselves up through your spine. Roll the shoulders back and around. Take a big breath in. And bring it to your heart center. All right, I'm gonna grab some weights. Everybody grab a couple sets of weights. And I will be moving on around with them. So first set, we're going to do two, two sets of everything, and I'll adjust weights as needed. So, first set, first circuit. We've got a, um, a curtsy squat, so one leg behind the other. Try not to stick your hip out so far, but think about having you know, two panes of glass right here that you can't only fit your body in the middle, middle right? So we're going to do a curtsy squat with a wide upright row, upright row and come back in to the other side. So let's start with that. I'm going to go light. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go lightweight. We're going to alternate legs on the curtsy. Wide arm, upright row. In three. In two. I'm watching you, Deb. Good, in one. All right, curtsy one. Other side. Two, try to hug your hips into the center. Three, four, five, six, seven, two more, oh, three more, eight, nine, yeah, keep your palms facing down, and ten, come back to center. We're going to use one of our heavier weights. Now, step back with your right foot. Hold the weight in your right hand. We often do this as a reach. We're going to make it more of a deadlift, so the front leg is going to be a little straighter, but not locked. There's a step back, not as wide as a lunge. Hinge forward with a straight leg, but a soft leg, so it's not a lunge, okay? So it's a soft leg, and then you come up and row. Right arm, right, uh, left leg forward. All right, so let's do 10 of those in three. Two, I'm calling it a split deadlift. One, so front leg is soft, 
Come up in row one. Release your left hand from your body, two. Hinge forward, three. Hinge forward, four. Good. And remember, if you're going to rotate, that's fine. Hi, Maria. If you're going to rotate, it's fine. Just don't rotate just the arm. We're just getting right into the first set. Three. Two. Don't worry, we're going to do the, leg, the other leg later. And one. All right. Okay, so now I want you to take your heavy weights. We're going to do alternating fast hammers or piston hammer curls. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. All right, pick up your weights in three, two, go. One, two. You can count it. All right, you've got 20 more seconds. Keep going. 10 seconds. So each set's going to have a 30 second uh, burnout. In three, in two, in one. Put the weights down. All right. Back to the curtsy squat with whatever weight you choose. As I said, I'm going with a lighter weight. So stepping behind the other leg, keep yourself contained between two pieces of glass. All right, alternating legs with an upright row, a wide arm upright row, three, two, go. One, two, three, abs and tight, four, five, six, Seven, elbows higher than shoulders. Eight, elbows higher than wrists. Nine, and ten. All right, we've got that single leg with a deadlift with a row. So separate your legs, same leg. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Hips are squared, left knee is slightly bent. Left arm is free. Three, two, hinge. One, Pull it back. Two. Pull it back. Three. Four. Five. Last five. Five. Four. Three. Slight bend in the front knee. Two, but it's not a lunge. And one. All right, we've got that 30 second hammer curl coming up. Get your second weight if you're not using it. In three, two, let's go. Keep it going. One arm's up, one arm's down. A little bit of momentum, which I tell you never to use unless I tell you to use it. All right, halfway there. Keep it going. You got eight seconds. Y'all can do this. You got three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm going to change the circuit just a little bit. We're going to start with a plie squat and a goblet press. So your weight's going to come under your chin. As you come down and up, the arms come up and back behind your head for a tricep. All right, so you hold the weight under your chin, heavy would be good. You squat down, press up through your heels, and then you take the arm behind your head. You can add the second um, hammer curl if you want, uh, plie if you want. You can hold it in any direction that feels good to you. Actually, I'm gonna hold it this way. All right, hands behind, but underneath your chin, your legs are wide, toes turned out, hips turned out. Three, two, let's go down, one, and back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, 
nine, and last one, 10. Good, all right, now the weight's going in the left hand, right leg is forward, left leg is back, hips are squared, front knee is slightly bent. It's a hip hinge, right? So it's not a lunge into the knee. Keep your legs on um, train tracks, not tightrope. Right arm free in three, two, and one. Hinge and row. Hinge forward and row. Three, four. You can add the rotation in your torso. Just make sure your body goes with your arm, not just your arm. Six. Seven, eight, one more, and ten. Good. Now, two weights again heavy. Piston rows, alternating. 30 seconds. In three, two heavy weights, two, and one. Good. That's it. Good. Bend over. So it's a bent over row. Halfway there. Good. Try to keep your hips steady. Bend your knees. Send your weight back. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. It's a trust ball back up to our plie squat with our tricep overhead. Take your legs wide, hold the weight any way you like. Two weights if you want. Three, you there, two, one. We squat down, up, back, behind the head, one. Two, try to keep the weight at your chest. Don't let it drop, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good. Weight in the left hand, right leg forward, left leg back, right arm free, soft bend in the front knee and hinge from the hips. Three, two, one. Hinge forward, come up in row one. Hinge, come up in row two. Three, four. Reach in front of your right foot. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. One more. All right, come back. You've got your two-armed piston rows. Two weights, heavy weights. In three, two, we go. Keep it going. Good, look forward, long spine. So it's not so much a punch, it's a row. Ten more seconds. Stay on it. You got five. You got three. Two. And one. Awesome. Now, we're going to go back to the arms. First arms. That wide arm upright row. So, elbow in line or higher than shoulder. Elbow higher than wrist, but don't break at your wrist. We're going to do 10 reps of just the arms. All right? Pick up your weights, starting with the upright rows. Bend your knees, roll your shoulders back and around. In three, in two, go. 10, 9, 8, keep your hands below your shoulders. 7, 6, Five, four, three, 
One more. Okay. Bend over. Go to a heavier weight plank. Two arm rows. Ten reps in three, two, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, F tight, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Hammer curls. Single arm if you need to. Cross body if you'd like to. Two arms if you can. Three, two, let's go. Ten. Don't swing behind your back like this. Three, no more momentum on this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, ten. Good. Single arm or double arm if you like. You can widen your legs for this. Overhead press. We're going to press up and then tricep back. Just the arms. Three, two, go. Up, back, up, chest. Two, back, up, chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. All right, back to two weights, heavy weights, two rows again, two arm rows. Bend over row in three, in two, in one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, let's two. One more. All right, good. Now, we're going back to some legs. Now we've got the goblet press, so you're going to hold again under your, um, under your chin. Not as wide as the first one, not as wide as the plie, more of a sumo. So a little bit wider than the hips with a slight turnout. You want to get your hips nice and low. As you drive through your feet, you're going to press the arms straight up overhead. If anybody can't do overhead, just going to keep it to your chin. All right? One heavy weight if possible. And again, you can change the position of the weight, right? You can hold it here if that feels more accessible to you. Otherwise, I'm holding it right under my chin. Feet or hips width is slightly wider. Toes out in three, two, and one. Squat, press all the way up, one. Squat back, all the way up, two. Try to get your arms right inside your thighs. If you're not doing a squat, do a calf raise. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now, um, a light medium weight for the next set, one in each hand. Light to medium. If you want to use a band around your ankles or above your ankles, that's fine. Uh, I didn't tell you to get a band, so if you don't have it, it's okay. Bend your knees. Sit low. Sit low means for you how low you can sit, right? Bring your arms in by your side. We're going to tap to the right and bring the right arm to the left, the right, left and left arm. So. Back to that, it's more of a bent arm, single arm raise. Um, keep your hips low the whole time so we don't stand up in between. We keep some tension on the legs, all right? Bring the arms in. Three, if, um, if you want to do a straighter arm raise, that's fine as well. Weight behind your heels in three, two, tap side to side. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, sit lower. Five, four, good guys. Three, two, one, stand up. Take your arms behind your back, palms away from you. Lighter weights probably. Bend your knees, hinge forward. 
So a straight line from your head to your tailbone. Arms up and back behind you. Am I doing them together? Um, let's do the first one. Raise them. In three, two, raise up. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, I just made a mistake. It's okay. <laughs> Six, five. This is supposed to be time. Four. We'll do it. Three. Don't let the arms come in front of your legs. Two. And one. Good, because you did that so well. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do our um, 30 seconds just pulsing the arms together behind your back. All right, here we go. Same light weights. Three, two, go. Oops. Ah, keep going. All right, I'll just keep it that way. Pulse it. Pulse it, pulse it. Add 10. 10. 8. 6. 4. 3. 2. 1. You got bonus there. Alright, you got a little bonus shoulder. Alright. So we're going to go back to the goblet squat. Sorry, heavier weight. Legs or hips width apart or slightly wider. So you want to squat down. You want to use your glutes to, to help you push back up, right? Not your lower back. But when you come down, you want to, you know, get the arms possibly, you know, to the inside of the inner thigh. All right, in three, we can press overhead. Two, in one. So sit down, tap, press all the way up. One, two. So you're driving through your heels to press back up. And as you're coming up, the weight's coming with you. Four, five, six, seven, nice, eight, nine, one more, is ten. All right. Perhaps your lighter set of weights Come into a low seated squat. What was your body to take? Single leg tap out without straightening your legs and coming up and down. All right? Bend over. Sit low. Three, two, go. Ten. Nine. Eight. As low as your body will take it. Seven. Six. Five. Hips stay centered. Four. Three. Two. One, stand up, take your palms behind you. Keep your arms behind you the whole time. Don't let them come in front of your thighs. Bend your knees, hinge forward. Three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Tension in your neck, just let your chin come down. One, all right. 30 seconds tap behind your back. Ready? Three. Same weights. Two. Go. Hinge forward. Tap. Tap. Yeah, keep going. Woo, halfway there. Woo, woo. How are you feeling? Ooh, yeah, I get it, Michelle. <laughs> Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, guess what time it is? It's time to. Oh, bye, Dad. See ya. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You got, you got 11. All right. Come on down to your mats, please. Let me show them on the right side. Okay. All right, so take everything you need to the floor. Your mat, your towel, your water, your weights. I'll just make sure everybody can see me. All right. All right, everybody. So we're going to start with um, marching bridges and a close grip chest press. So yeah, adjust your cameras if you're um, Coming down to the floor with me. 
the bench is fine. So when you close to a chest press, you can have one or two weights. It's going to come to the center of your chest. Here's what it's going to look like. One hopes. All right, hips are going to come up. Arms are going to come up. Now, bring the knee into the chest and the arms down. And bring your arms up. Bring the knee into, other knee into the chest. Arms down, leg up. So combination move. Um, don't get too hung up on it. It's a close grip chest press with a marching bridge. If you want to hold in a bridge because it's um, walking and chewing gum, that's okay. All right, so start here. Hips up, arms up. Keep your hips up. It's only 10 reps for now. In three, in two, in one. One, up, two, three. Keep your hips up. Four, okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, lower your hips, grab your second weight. Heavy weights, chest, arms up, flies, legs up, straight or bent, tap your legs. As the arms open, you're going to tap one leg to the floor, all right? So, bent arm, bent knee, straight leg, straight arm. Don't knock out the arms, that's the only thing. Move out of your hip, not your knee. So don't bring your heel closer to your buttocks, you're going to move out of your hip. All right, arms up, legs up. Lower them about 45 degrees. Straighter bend. Three, two, go. One. Two, pull your belly into your spine. Three, again, it's movement out of the hip, not the knee. So nothing changes in the position of the knee. Five, six, it's hard to tell with some of your cameras. Seven, if it's the knee or just the ankle. Nine, okay, and 10. All right, take two heavy weights again. We're going for a 30 second drill. We're gonna do piston chest presses. So arms are up. We're gonna alternate arm presses here. All right? All right, on your backs, you can choose to be in a bridge, in a tabletop, legs up or down, whatever works for you. Three, two, arms up. Good, just press one side at a time. You're gonna feel like you wanna fall over, so your core is gonna fire up. All right, you got 15 seconds. Okay, all right. Ooh, belly and ribs down. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your weights down. And come on back to a single arm if you'd like with the marching bridges and a close grip chest press. So arms are up, hips are up. As the knee comes up, the arms come down in three, two, one. Bring it in, one, two. Keep lifting your hips up because the tendency is to sink down. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Hips down, second weight. Flies with leg drops. Arms up, legs up. And then you can keep your knees bent and then move your hips a little bit away or your legs a little bit away so you're not directly on top of your hips. You're extended. Three, two, fly. One. Two, you can also keep your legs in the air. Three, some of you might even want to take both legs at the same time. If your back feels healthy enough to do that, go for it. Six, seven, belly and ribs down. Don't push out. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, so our 30 second drill is going to be over your chest. Palms facing away, heavy weights. Piston chest press in three, two, go. One, up. And feel your abdominals securing yourself there. 
You're almost halfway through. I would say I'm unstoppable. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, sit up for a second. Stretch your shoulders back, open up the front of your chest. Just lean back a little bit here. I guess it's windy, one of my little potted trees fell down. Not as bad as Lori probably, but. All right, so we're going to um, keep our hips up in a bridge. Lay back, one or two arms close to your chest, press only. Arms up, hips up. Good. Now again, the body wants to sink down. It's just gravity, all right? Work against gravity. Check it out. Three, two, two arms together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Bring it down. Flies. Arms up over your chest. Hips up if you'd like to. Or tabletop position. Three, two, one. Ten flies. Nine. Eight. Seven. Belly and ribs down. Six. So again, if you arch your back, those ribs pooch out. Five. Four. Three, one more. Good, bring it in. And the last thing we're gonna do is a chest press, two arms together, not the piston way, okay? 10 of those on your back, arms up, legs up. Three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, sit up. Bent knee or straight leg straddle. Hold your arms under your chin. We're gonna stay upright and do an upright, upper, overhead press and a tricep. Three, two, one. It's up, back, remember we did this standing? Down. Two, back, up, and down. Three, and down. Four, stay on it. Six more. Five, four, Three, two more. Two, one more. And in. Ooh, good morning, all right. Moving everything off to the side, grab some water. We've got a set of pull up. Mm. Pull over. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay on our box. Arms come back behind your head, touch the floor. As you come up and pull over, you're gonna to chop to one side and then the next time to the other side, All right? So on your back, yeah, you can leave your hips in the air, you can leave your legs in the air, you choose, and choose the way you wanna hold the weight. Three, two, one. Touch behind you, cross to the right side. Touch behind you, cross to the left side too. Three, four, five, six, keep the pelvic tilt if you're on the floor, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now you can stay with one heavy weight or lighten your weight. I'm going to turn my weight the long way. Arms up over your shoulders, chest. For most of you, you'll go to a sit-up, and then we're gonna do four twists, two, three, four. Come back down, 
press the arms up. Um, if sitting up is just not going to happen, stay up, press up, one, two, four twists, okay? So if sitting up is just, you're going to have to kick and flail to get your, your body up there, stay in an upright position. Otherwise, come down to your backs, three, two, one. So as you come up, you push up, then you twist one, two, three, four, roll down. Sit up, press up, two, one, two, three, four, roll down, sit up, three, one, two, three, four, roll down, four, you can switch the lead arm on your twist or the lead side, good, you're halfway through, five, five more, five, Four more, four, last three, last two, I want to see what you're doing, and one more, three and four, okay, grab a light set of weights or no weights at all. All right, it's a roll down, so we start from sitting. As we roll down, we punch two, three, four, and we come back up without punching. Now, again, if that coming down and up is not for your body today or just in general, lean back and punch across the chest, all right? Otherwise, it's a roll down as opposed to a sit up. It's semantics, really, on the way up, right? Obviously, we have to get back up. All right. Punch on the way down. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, sit up. Punch on the way down. Try now to change your lead arm. Two. Punch, two, three, four, and three. Punch, two, three, four, and four. If it takes you six punches, it's okay. Punch, two, three, four, or more. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. I come on up. Woo. All right. All right. Stay up with your arms, your punches, if you haven't done this already. Alright, I'll just sing for you like I'm pink. Alright, we're going to stay up and we're going to twist, twist, punch, punch, twist, twist, punch, punch. If that's too much for anybody, I want you to just do some crunches. Alright, if the rotation's too much, in three, 30 seconds, two, and one. Let's go. Twist, twist, punch, punch, twist. So basically, you're twisting the whole time. If you think about it, change the lead arms, but it's not going to work so well. Right? So just go, go, twist, twist, or twist, twist. Punch, punch, twist, twist, punch, punch, twist, twist, punch, punch. Five seconds to go. One, one, two, two, three, three, two, two, and last one. And take it back. Come on, you bats. Bring your knees in, open your arms out, and stretch your legs over to the left as you twist to the right, just for that rotation. Good. Come on back to the center, move your hips left, bring your knees over to the right side. And come on back to center, hug your knees into your chest. All right. Now. All right, come onto your bellies. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Onto your belly. <clears throat> All right, so your hands, you're going to lift your, um, just your upper body up. Okay, so the hands can be under your forehead and you lift up. 
They could be by the sides of your temples, by your side, or even fingertips on the floor like little sp spider fingers, all right? So 10 back extensions, lifting the upper body up. Press your pubic bone down, press the top of your foot down so you have stability in the lower body to lift the upper body for 10. Three, two, and one. 10, nine, how high you go up is dependent on you, right? It's your body. Four, keep your head long, don't lift your neck. Six, seven, eight, good. You're looking to the front of your mat, nine, and 10, good. Put your head on your hands. All right, well actually, let's do this. Take your hands by your side. We're gonna lift our chest a little higher, like a cobra. When we come down, we're gonna lift our legs up. I gotta move up. All right, so alternating upper body, lower body, but each one is one. In three, two, go. Lift your chest, <clears throat> lower down, lift your legs, that's one. Lift your chest, lower down, lift your legs. Now, it's a leg, this is again from the hip, not the knee, so we're not kicking our heels to our butt. Four, lift the legs. Five, keep your head in one long line. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, push your hips to your heels, child's pose. All right, I've got a 30 second set for you here. Come back to your belly. Head down, oops, head down, legs up, tap, like we did um, with our weights behind our back, tapping the heels together, tapping, remember we tap the arms together. It was a while ago, but not that long ago. All right, so head down, legs up. Three, two, go. Tap, tap. You can go faster, slower. See if your thighs can lift off the floor. Tap, tap. You can tap, 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 tap. You can say, I wanna go home, I wanna go home. 15 seconds. Head down, my, my head's up just so I can kind of see you guys. Here we go. Woo. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo. Now we definitely push back to your child's pose. Stretch it all the way out. Okay, come back to sitting. Come back to your light set of weights. We're gonna be finishing up a couple more exercises, but you've done them already. So your experience in head of, ahead of the, uh, the curve here. All right, so we're gonna go back to twist, twist, punch, punch, with or without weights. You start, and we're gonna do this as a 30 second rep again. So um, sit up tall, but then lean back. We're not um, rounding our back here, we're staying a little bit more upright, okay? Feel that tension on your abdominals. All right, in three, two, go. It's twist, twist, punch, punch. Two, two, punch, punch. Three, we don't have to count it. Keep it going. Halfway there. Sun was in my timer. Here we go. Five more seconds from here. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Back on your belly. Last one. Heel taps. Legs wide. Pubic bone pushes down. Head and chest stay down. In three. In two. Legs up one. Tap. Go. Tap, tap, tap. Squeeze everything together. Come on, 15 more seconds, you got this. Work that whole back chain from the waist down. 
Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Let's take this knees wide, child's pose. And push your hips all the way back, reach your arms all the way out. You're good, guys. Awesome job. Walk over to your right side, left hand on top or longer than your right. Inhale through the center to the other side. Inhale, return to the center. Exhale, come up to your hands and knees. Bring your knees under your hips. Walk your hands forward. Bring your forehead or your chin down so your hips stay up and we get a little stretch for the front of the chest. Should feel pretty good in the chest. And then walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, round your back like a cat. You know the Halloween cat that's in the stores for the last two months already? And of course it's only, it's gonna be September. And come back to neutral, lower yourself onto your back. So we only have two months to Halloween. <laughs> What, four months to Christmas and everything's out already. Cross the right leg over the left. It's been out for months. Grab your heels. Lengthen your spine. Open your arms to a T. Shift your hips right and let your knees fall over to the left side. Uncross your legs. Come back to center. Did you know there's a station on Sirius XM that plays all year holiday favorites? It's in the 700s. Open your arms out to the side. Move your hips left and let your knees fall to the right. So we never have to be without Christmas. <laughs> Uncross your legs, hug your knees to your chest. Grab around to opposite elbows. Pull everything tight. Keep your right knee in, extend your left leg on the floor, and then extend your right leg in the air, flex point, roll the ankle. And if you'd like to lift your head and shoulders toward your leg, bring your knee to your chest, bring your left knee to your chest, and extend your right leg on the floor. Extend your left leg in the air, flex point, roll the ankle. Decide if you want to lift your head and shoulders up. And lower your head down, bring your knee to your chest. Happy baby, hold on to the outer foot or just your ankle, tailbone down. And then bring your hands to bring your knees together. Rock and roll on your spine, one, two, ten times. And then come to a standing Forward bend, arms behind your back, head down, arms up. Release your arms, let them dangle, chin to chest, roll up. Roll the shoulders back and around, take a big breath in, bring the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, those of you at home, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.